Hi, I'm Callum. And I'm Tom. We are the Torquedo Shop, based in Largs on the Clyde, uh, west of Scotland. And today we're going to unbox the new travel motor from Torquedo. So, welcome to sunny Scotland. You can see we've got a beautiful day. <laughs> Fortunately, the weather's against us, but here we are. So, this is the box. Um, <clears throat> when you order one of these, you will receive two boxes. Um, so this is the motor, this is a short travel motor, which is the, the lower power of the two models. Um, it's a, this is a 1100 watt uh, motor with the extended range battery, which we'll show you in a while. The higher power motor is uh, 1400 watts. So they're pretty well packaged, so be careful when you're unboxing this. Um, <clears throat> so the first thing you'll come across is a box with the manuals in it. Um, there'll also be a power adapter. Um, the standard power adapters that you get with the box is uh, European and American plugs. If you buy it from the Torquedo shop, we will add the correct UK plug. Um, it comes standard with an adapter, which we think we can improve on. So we put the, the right power adapter into the box for you. So that's the main body of the motor. The next thing you'll see in the box is the propeller. Some more packaging. just the charger isn't it? Yeah so in the bottom of the box you'll find the, the charger box and in, in that box you'll find uh, the charger with the plugs uh, you'll also find the fin for the bottom of the motor uh, you will also find the fitting kit for the propeller uh, uh, this is the cable that we add and this is the adapter that is supplied by Tokido so if you buy it from us as Callum said we, uh, we add in the connect cable. Okay, so this is the other box that you'll receive, which uh, has the battery in it, and that's all that's in it. Um, this battery is the slightly bigger one of the two, which is uh, 1,425 watts, watt hours. Uh, the smaller one is 1050, um, and the bigger battery will give you about, about an extra half hour run About an extra half hour run time at full throttle. Um, this comes with about 10% charge, so don't expect to be using this straight out of the box. Uh, please allow time to charge the battery before you want to use it. That brings me on to the charger. So from the charger box, it's a 180 watt charger that comes as standard. Um, with the, the battery plugged in, the display shows around about five and a half hours to full charge. Um, so obviously allow that if you're planning on using it on the, the delivery day. Um, we've already talked about the cable that, that uh, comes included. There's the manuals in every language Please worldwide. Read the, manual. The, the manual shows you um, all of the operation, the safety warnings. Um, we are going to explain to you today some of the operation uh, physically, but it's always good to read the manual. That's the safety kill cord. It's a magnet. Um, we do sell them as a spare part. Some people like to have a spare. Um, there's two options for the magnets. So the new style one is the, uh, they call it the torque track. And it's the, the screen on the new model is the color display, which takes the square kill cord. It also comes with the prop fitting kit, which we're going to uh, demonstrate to you today and the skeg which is a removable part so if it becomes damaged for any reason we also sell them as a spare it's really easy to fit with one screw okay i'm going to show you now how to fit the prop and the fin um, you will require a couple of tools for this job so i've got a deep 17 mil socket and i've got a three mil allen key for fitting the the fin okay so we've laid everything out here so just be careful again when you unbox it so there is a small protective cap on the threads of the propeller shaft. So 
might be handy to keep this. I mean, you can discard it if you want, but you do want to protect the threads of this because it is quite a, if you damage these threads, uh, it'd be quite a difficult repair. So um, we have the propeller and we have a bag with the bits and pieces that we need to fit the propeller. Within the bag, we have um, a washer. So a slightly bigger washer of the two goes on first. So we slide that on first. And then we have the drive pin. Again, this is a replaceable part. So if you need these, they are on the website. That goes in next. Now, it's really important to make sure you get this as central as possible because there isn't much play between the slot on the back of the propeller. So once you're happy that you've got that centered, check the propeller, line it up, and you'll feel it go straight on. And when you see all of the thread exposed, you know you've got it all the way on. The next is the smaller washer of the two, which goes on, and then the nylock nut. So we'll just start that there, bug my fingers and then we'll, we'll grab the 17 mil deep socket. And then once you get to the bottom, it's just a small nip. Don't over tighten it. And then <clears throat> the next thing to go on is the, this is the zinc anode. Um, these are available in aluminium or zinc. Um, they do come standard now in the box. So we'll just screw that on. small nip with that. Okay, next we have the fin or the skeg. Again, it's good. This is a fairly easily replaced part. So if you do damage this, don't, don't be too concerned. Uh, these are available to buy. So if you want to have a spare one. So you'll notice that the, there is a, a hex side and a round side. The round side is for the cap head of the bolt and the hex side is for the nut to sit into. So this just slides up from the bottom firm push in place. We'll put the nut into the space, the bolt through the hole. Just keep your finger over the nut and use your three mil Allen key to carefully do up. And again, a small nip, don't over tighten this. Small nip and that's it. So we'll unbox the battery, show you how to connect it to the motor. Um, as we said earlier, this is the larger of the two options, the 1425 watt hour battery. It's quite well packaged, it's a box within a box. It's quite difficult to get the inner one out without somebody else holding the outer one down. This battery weighs uh, 9.5 kilos. So it's not too bad, um, quite manageable when you get to split the, the motor from the battery, you can carry the two parts individually. As we said earlier, the batteries are delivered with 10%, 10% charge, so you do need to go on the charger when you get them out of the box. The motor has a protective cover on the connections, and it also has a, a location for the cover to be uh, stowed. So it clips in there into the housing. The motor can swivel all the way around to point you. <coughs> Comes in from the top into the track and it takes a quick uh, click into place. And that's the battery installed onto the motor for you. So the new motors have the added benefit of bracket anodes, which I will just show you where they are now. So with the motor tilted up, there's anodes on each side of the bracket. They are available as spare parts, um, sold separately to the prop anode and in two materials, either aluminium or zinc. I'm just going to show you now how to operate the tiller, uh, the controls and show you a bit of the screen. So. We have the orange on button here, so it's a, once the battery's installed, it's a long press of the button. We have a beep, and that's how you know that you've turned the motor on. So it fires up pretty quickly. Um, at that stage, you can then put the kill cord in, and again, it's just magnetic, so it falls into place. At this point, then, the motor is ready to run, so we can turn the handle, and, and she runs straight away. Um, the first screen that you're presented with will show you your speed in knots, and it will also show you your power output 
uh, on the bar. Uh, we have an uh, indication of neutral down here, so this light here shows you that you are in neutral, um, and it will disappear when you turn it into a forward or reverse. Uh, we also have our RPM status over here. Uh, we have the battery charge status up here as well. Um, we can cipher through these screens, so we've got uh, the next screen. Uh, which is a, a different display of the power output for the motor. So this is kind of like a throttle display. Um, and then we have the battery indica indicator. So this will give you a bit more of a breakdown of the distance that you have remaining and the minutes that you have remaining. So once you've got a bit of load under the motor, it will display hours and minutes of, of time remaining. So it's quite good if you're traveling a bit more of a long distance, you can have an idea of how long you've got left to go. Um, again, the kill cord removes very easily. Um, and yeah, uh, again, to turn it off, it's just a long press and off it goes. So we wanted to let you know that there is also a new app um, which you can download for your smartphone, um, Apple or Android. Um, the app will connect to the motor via Bluetooth and display all the information that is on the screen. Um, we will put the QR code up on the screen now so you can download that link. Um, we would also like to remind you to register your motor for warranty. Uh, there are a couple of places on the motor that you can find your serial number. There's also a QR code which you can scan. Um, please make sure that you register for your warranty as soon as you unbox your motor. Thank you.